So right now with the slam box, with the Auto Fusion series, the series that I'm platforming two different cars and putting them together, well, a car and a truck, in order to make it my ultimate shop truck, a truck that I'm really looking forward to getting into. So we are going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off in the last video. You saw that my intake manifold had failed. I got that ripped off. I have some new parts that are already here. I'm gonna get those thrown on right away, not waste any time, and then see what else we have to do to continue making progress towards getting this cab on the chassis and getting this truck on the road, man. I cannot wait to drive this thing for the first time. And now, you're watching the backup, 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 Terry. Put it in reverse, put it in reverse. Oh, Lord Jesus, oh, Lord, what you doing, Terry? Channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining me yet again on another video. So as you can see, I got everything thrown back on. We are looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and do my first start right here. And I changed the oil because as I'm down there messing around with it, I wanted to do some of that routine maintenance stuff. So let's see if everything seems okay. Little bit of ticking the second it fired up, but it clears up right away, so I don't know if I'm super worried about it. So as I'm walking around this platform, before I put the cab onto it, I wanna address a few things as I have as much room as I have right now. So this old muffler is all cracked on the bottom. This thing has got to go. I'm gonna chop that off and then decide what I wanna do. And of course, I'm gonna have to give you some before and after sound clips. So everything seems fine, running real good. Let's get that exhaust cut off and I wanna clean up this wiring. That's what I wanna do, that's the direction that we're going and that's what's happening. Let's get to work, man. So how convenient is this? Really quickly, I wanna to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Factor creates each meal using ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. If you're looking for an extra boost to keep you going and working hard in your projects just like I am, try the Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Also, another thing that is huge for us is we are all on a budget. One of our biggest expenses is takeout, and with Factor, you can cut way back on that. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but the time that you save by just popping that meal in the microwave, waiting two minutes for it to cook. I like to throw it in the microwave, get my hands and everything all washed off. By the time I'm ready to go, my food is ready to go and we are saving time and money at the same time and that's huge. Personally with me and my health in the past I have to be really careful with everything that I'm eating. Factor makes it so easy for me to stick to my nutrition goals as I can pre-plan my meals for the entire week. All right so here we go. One of the best times of the day. I got a couple of choices right here. I think this bad boy I think that seems like the winner. So what we got going on, the directions are all pretty simple and they're similar for all of them. So we take it out of the box, put a couple of holes in it with the fork. Then we got the microwave right here. We don't need this while we're going. Then we got two minutes. Do you hit 30, 30, 30, 30 for two minutes or do you do two, zero, zero, start for two minutes? I mean, it's the same amount of buttons either way, but you gotta live and die by what you got going on. So this is jalapeno lime cheddar chicken with spicy cilantro cauliflower rice. 
And as you can see, man, really quickly, two minutes. That's really good stuff. So I'm in the shop, grab my food, two minutes in the microwave, and it's this good. That's a win-win for me. And that smoothie, real good stuff. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BODYVISION50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Thanks again, Factor number one for lunch, number two for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to work. So at this point, I know in the last clip I just cut the muffler off, but how could I do an exhaust video? Well, a part of my video where I'm focusing on the exhaust without showing you some before and after clips. So I have this microphone right here. I'm just going to put it right there so that way we can hear them both from the same exact spot. My mic is still picking me up. The other one is over there. Why is the camera so dark right now? Here is the before. Nothing too much going on besides motor noise, really. Little cold revving for the boys. So as of right now, it is a few hours later. We actually spent a whole bunch of time cleaning up all of the wiring back here. Now, I didn't want to go through every single detail of what was coming out, what's going to stay, because in all reality, that stuff is kind of boring. So we got the muffler out of here. We have the microphone in the same exact spot that it was before. So let's get a first fire up and see, see if it made a difference to cut off the muffler and then just connect it. This is really a straight pipe. Let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it warm up a little bit. Then I'll give you a few revs here. Pretty good, pretty good. I think I'm happy with that for the old shop truck. All right, so right now it is actually the next day and what I really want to focus on, I've been working on the cab for quite a while and it is just too hot. It's about 98 degrees over here right now. Too hot for me. So I went ahead, I primed everything under here. I put cavity wax in all of this area that might have fresh metal on the inside and this had all been pressure washed. So it's never a bad idea to pressure wash it, osphal, make sure all that rust is treated and then come behind it with the cavity wax, seam sealer, that's all good. It's all been prepped. So I want to back out the platform and now that the muffler is cut off, it's going to be cool to hear it move for the first time. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm trying to accomplish right now is I want this to be the last time the cab gets dropped on the chassis because I need to start putting it together and ideally it'd be really nice if I could put it together inside the shop because it is just too hot. I'm over here talking, getting distracted. It is just too hot to not be in the shop. All right, let's see how this goes.
quickly, I already had had this radiator support tacked in and welded in and that was all good to go. So I needed to make sure the cab was in the same exact place that it was in before I welded that in. And the only way that I could do that was by putting the fenders on. Now that the fenders are fitting good, the radiator support is sitting exactly how it should be sitting. And I made a whole bunch of measurements using reference points from the frame to make sure that the cab is sitting perfectly straight, not skewed any which way. It's sitting perfectly level on both sides, measuring from the ground up in many locations. So it takes a little bit for me to dial it in, but at this point it's in its final place and I'm gonna go ahead and get it welded in for the final time. So now the only way to get it off would be to remove the body mounts from the town car floor, then it would be able to come off. But as far as just being able to lift it up, that's not gonna happen here shortly. All right, so now we have a problem because the floor of the cab and the floor of the town car is at a completely different level. So what I did to make a solution for that was I made this little template just by laying in some paper, kind of looks like the Nike logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out of metal and then throw it in the truck and you'll see exactly where this belongs and how it's going to fit perfectly. And also, once it's in there, I'm gonna go ahead, mark out some holes, rosette weld it in there so it looks just like some OEM spot welds. It's gonna look really good, really nice, and let's just get this turned to metal and then thrown into the truck. Now that we got a bunch of that metal in there and it's looking pretty good, I wanna get the truck out of here. Throw the seat in the truck, that way I can kinda of start to get an idea of what I need to do as far as seat mounting goes, if I'm going to use this seat at all, because keep in mind, the floor of the F-350 was pretty much flat. Now we have the trans tunnel that we're dealing with. So I don't know if the seat's gonna teeter totter, if we're gonna to have to raise it. I don't know where it's going to go. And the only way to figure that out is by pulling the truck out, throwing the seat in and seeing what happens. So at this point, the floor is really coming together. We have that side panel on. I think I'm going to want the main floor to continue, but I want to put little caps on because I want that 90 degree shape that door jam should have and I want it to be finished off. So these caps are going to be temporary until I can finish out the floor. The way that it's going to be is I have my vertical. I'm going to make my caps now, but forget about the caps for one second. So I have my vertical, then I'm going to have my horizontal. Those will all be rosette welded on and then the cap will be rosette welded on top of that to make it all nice one piece looking really good. Almost as if this was a floor kit that I bought specific for this truck, but I'm just making it because that's the stuff that I do. So let's go ahead and get those caps bent out.
And so as you can see, everything is looking good. What I really want to do is get the truck pulled out, get the seat thrown back in, and then take a look at it out around and really get a look at the slam box laid out with the cab and its final resting point. And dude, this thing is coming together so nicely. I expect progress from here on out is going to be quick. Where is she? Right here. Okay. I wanted to see my turning radius. That's four. That's forty all the way around. Does that seem like ride height, or that seems way low? Low in the front. It still has full lock. Well, not exactly, but. Damn it. Woo -hoo -hoo, the slam box is slamming. Dude, this thing is coming together phenomenally. Now this panel, that's like a blend panel. That was to make the old blend with the new seamlessly. And the reason why we have this little step right here is that's gonna happen in any vehicle that's considered to be body chopped because this edge should be right there, but we have the truck sitting so much lower than the floor, AKA body drop. So that way we can get it to be as low as we want it to be without making an insane amount of frame modifications, which you'd have to do one or the other in order to make it work. So I still have a whole bunch of work to do. It was nice to get these bars out of here so that way we could sit the seat in here and kind of get an idea of what's going to go on with that. These last, these last pieces that I made, I'm not going to weld those in completely because I'm still going to cut out a lot of this white floor and then build a whole new floor section just because of the way that the town car floor sags. I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to want to redo it. So at this point, the next major thing that I would like to do is to get the doors on because we couldn't put them on before with these support bars in here, but I still have a lot of work to do, a lot of welding to do. Got to get the seat mounted in once and for all. And all of that is going to be coming on some of the next videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of all of the progress thus far. We got the cab on once and for all and everything is looking really good. So thanks so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube, real hot. I'm out.